Good morning, Abraham. Thank you very much for coming to Atlanta. Several years ago, you gave a practical e example of attracting money. And the example was keep a hundred dollar bill in your wallet and imagine all the things that you could buy with it, even if it were a pair of shoes that you couldn't fully afford. So, therefore, oh. therefore practicing the feeling of prosperity. Yes. And so, oh, I, I can't afford the whole, both shoes, but I could afford one of the shoes. And so you get a good feeling out of this. And <laughs> this is a great practical exercise. So could you please give us a practical exercise for attracting love and the feeling of love? Well, we think you started with a very good premise because, and it dovetails perfectly into what we've been talking about all morning here. And that is, if you can find the feeling, then the other will come now in this in this case you're sort of looping around and we get why you're doing it and and we understand that the processes that we've offered have sort of set you into that place let's be clear here the reason that we offered an action that we knew would produce that we knew had the potential of producing an emotion is because we knew once that emotion was produced within you that it would serve you so just now we said to you we don't want you to need to rely on the action in order to produce the emotion and yet you live in a world where you've already established your trajectories you live in a world where you are already accustomed there is already some momentum going so did you play that game did it resonate with you was it something you wanted to do or did esther did she put that hundred dollars in her wallet and she spent it all day long all day long all day long now a hundred dollars wouldn't go far enough for her <laughs> yes the answer is yes I do that and, and I have plenty of money and so <laughs> the idea of it is to find a way to feel prosperous and knowing that when you feel prosperous the law of attraction will say well here's a prosperous path and here's one in other words in, in today's conversation, that game, you know, the $100 process, we, we've explained it well enough for you here, puts you on a trajectory of prosperity so that prosperity must find you. And the stories that came back to Jerry and Esther from people who began that process of all kinds of things that began happening in people's experiences and the thing that made it most exciting for them and for us and for Jerry and Esther is that these people who were applying it now had an absolute correlation between the feeling that they had deliberately induced and the universal response to that feeling. So that's what you're asking for here. How can I, how can I find that feeling? Now, the thing that's a little treacherous about both subjects that you're talking about is that you have the ability to notice how far that hundred dollars will go or you have the ability to notice how far it won't go in other words or or you could say it's one flimsy little hundred dollar bill who am i kidding there aren't a million of them in here yeah. spending the same one over and over again is not that satisfying in other words you could use that process to work for you or you could use that process to work against you but if we can convince you that you're wanting to do anything that you can that makes you feel good because that means it's working for you so in the same way in the absence of a relationship you have to look for the components of what a relationship would feel like and acknowledge that you've already got something comparable to that hundred dollar bill in other words Esther because she was so sort of dependent upon the relationship that she had with Jerry for company for good company for all kinds of intertwining in all kinds of different ways so she just started noticing well this is a really fun person to talk to on the telephone and this is a really meaningful thing to person to talk about here in other words she began noticing that there were lots of ways of satisfying that relationship in lots of different people and in doing so there's no absence of that vibration because what you're reaching for is happiness in the now yes so the answer to the question is you have to find a way of soothing the void but 
that's even backwards in the way we're saying it to you because when we say soothe the void what are we focused on the void so let's focus upon the soothing not the void the soothing well Abraham what am I soothing the void well then think about being soothed think about feeling good think about having fun thinking about being at one thinking about think about the your inner being think about source energy who is always with you we want you to know that the reason that most people are looking for a partner is because they're trying to fill the void that really can only be filled with alignment and so what you might say is I in the same way that I have this hundred dollar bill I've got this non-physical partner I've got source energy I have the ability to focus I have the ability to feel good I have the ability to align I have the ability to attract whatever I'm wanting this falls into the category of starting in that general place you see because we don't think that you we we wouldn't get a blow-up doll <laughs> and put it in your wallet <laughs> <laughs> and that's sort of the analogy that you were reaching for with the hundred dollar bill in other words there it you, you have to you have to find a way to achieve a feeling of ease about something that you've been feeling angst about and there are a lot of different ways of going about it so 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 what's a good process what's a process for for uh, satisfy what's a good process for let's find the analogy we think it we think it was a really fair question so Abraham you told me to put a hundred dollars in my wallet and if I would notice that it was there instead of noticing that I didn't have it notice that I did have it that every time I notice that I have it then it would increase a feeling of prosperity within me so isn't it logical that every time you're having a really good conversation with someone if you notice it and acknowledge it and repeat it in your mind later and activate the vibration of it isn't it logical that that would induce that same vibration it's the same sort of thing anything that makes you feel satisfied with where you are is a beneficial thing now often that scares our physical friends they think oh you ghost you're not really interested in our manifestation you're just interested in us uh, satisfying ourselves in the absence of what we want and if I get really satisfied with the absence of what I want then the universe won't give it to me because I learned from my mother the way to get things was to throw a fit <laughs> and if I act happy before I get the thing that I know I need to make me happy then is the universe going to really give up the goods and we say oh please tell us we're past that understanding that you understand that it you never get anything through throwing a negative fit you always get it through soothing your point of attraction it's the whole point of understanding what your grid is it's the whole point point. and so with this grid conversation what we're wanting to lead you toward is choosing the disc that you want to be on without needing an excuse to to be on it so in some ways where we have evolved past the hundred dollar bill process because that says give me a hundred dollar bill and I'll spend it and spend it and spend it and I'll end up on the high flying disc and we are now submitting to you that when you wake up in the morning you're up there just don't blow it with some screwy thought oh that was a little blunt wasn't it when you wake up you're there you're there you have vibrational currency just mean to stay there and every day you'll get better at it every day you'll get better at it until eventually you will wonder why you were ever worried about anything because you have the means to everything within your vibrational countenance really good thank really you good. very much yes indeed <laughs>